Hello, um, Rob again. Um, this is part five of taking apart the Monroe uh, K model calculator. Um, I'm going to now set up um, 30 minutes on the clock to, well, maybe 35 minutes. Okay, so 35 minutes are on the clock. Um, so when last we left off, um, and I've raised the camera up a little bit uh, so that you can hopefully see a little bit from the top. Um, we removed all the um, bits and pieces from the left side, um, which is holding this uh, intermediate assembly in. And on this side, I was about to remove uh, these screws. I did remove one assembly. Um, I did remove a cam follower from here, and then I discovered that this piece um, was apparently also, um, I guess, part of that um, mechanism maybe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that as well. Um, it's just a screw and a nut. So I've got uh, this additional um, adjustable wrench that I can use maybe, just to remove it. Okay. It's easy enough to do. And I will remove this. Okay. And again, it's important to note the order of the parts. So there would be the nut, then the frame, then a washer, then this part, and then the screw. And the screw itself is ten thirty-two. And I'm not going to measure it because the fact that it's connected to these parts uh, uniquely identifies it. Um, where's my bag? So this will also go in bag five. Okay, so now that's removed. So finally, we can remove these screws. So let's go ahead and get to it. I'll choose the right bit. Maybe this size seems good. Okay, so um, I basically loosened this assembly over here. So now I sh and I uh, loosened this spring over here. So this assembly, this spring, so I should be able to remove um, this half bushing right over here. So I'll do that. and measure the screw. This appears to be a an 836. And its length is 0.313. That's really close to 0.3125, which is a standard fraction. Okay, and then I unscrew the other screw on the half bushing. I may be naming these parts wrong. I mean, I'm just calling it a half bushing, but, you know, I'm not really a, a machinist or a mechanical engineer, so uh, I may very well be getting the name of that part wrong. So this is also an 836.
and it's 0.339. And now I can just remove this part and the complete assembly just comes right off. So it goes in like this, like this. And as with the other side, there is a part that can sort of twist in here like that. So I'm just going to try to leave this whole assembly together and stick it in. Well, I'll take this off and I'll stick it in bag five. Okay, I think we're probably almost done with bag five. Um, so then there is one last screw right over here with this half bushing. Actually, it's even less than half a bushing. So I'll unscrew that. Oops, bushing came off. So it goes just like that. And it's an 836 screw. And its length is 0.314. So that goes in the bag. And I'm going to close off the bag because I think that I think that there's nothing else holding this in. So I can close that off, set it aside. Uh, and now we need to pry these pry this uh, assembly out. So I should be able to just pry it out gently over here. There we go. And then on the other side, I should be able to pry it. Let's see. This is a moving piece. This is not such a moving piece, so maybe I can, no. Because I have to lift these two axles at the same time. So here's a place where I can sort of pry this axle out, maybe. Not really. How about here? Ah, there's one axle. And now I should just be able to pop this axle out. I'm wondering if this um, if this nut is holding this axle too tightly. I'm just going to loosen this nut slightly. Just a tiny bit. And now I'm going to try to pry this out again. There. Okay. So we go. The assembly. So let's take a look at it. Um, so these these axles are actually kind of loose from each other. In, in fact, it appears that the only thing actually holding it together is this bar over here. So let's just see if I can pull that up ah, and it just comes right off and then it separates like this okay so there appear to be these um, spacers over over here let me remove this spring so we can see there are these spacers here which fit into these slots in there. Okay. Um, there are, let's see. So these, these levers over here were the carry registration levers that I talked about earlier. And there are little springs here 
which were the springs for those registration levers. Um, they spring-loaded the levers. Let's see, it would go like this. And then they spring-loaded them so that they would go back and forth. So these springs actually come out. They would just come out like this. There appears to be a tiny hole inside that the wire fits into, and then it just sits like that. So let's, um, let's start at bag six. Let me put this back. Because um, this is, this, even though this is an assembly, there are quite a few loose parts on it. So I don't want them going away. Because parts that go away are parts that never come back. Whatever the heck that means. Okay, so bag six, seven, seven, three, three, nine. Okay, so I'm going to put the springs in. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight springs. Okay. And then there are, um, hmm. so there's also this spring that runs the entire length and holds on to the pulleys, which serve as detente for the intermediate gears. So I'm going to pull that out. Okay. So that can go in bag six as well. Um, remembering that some of the pulleys are in bag six and some of them are in bag five. Um, and then there are these spacers and uh, that orientation is pretty important because there is a little tab. So we need to make sure that it points um, in the correct direction when we uh, put this back together again. So I will remove all of these spacers. Okay, this is another important thing. Um, they look the same but they're actually not quite the same. In fact, the second one that I pulled out has a, uh, a pin on it, and this one does not have a pin. So the end one doesn't have a pin. This one has a pin. So let's see the next one. It also has a pin. There's a pin, there's a pulley. Pin. Pin, 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 and okay, and the end one has some sort of a really big kind of a thing on it. So, so that's really important because you can never really take this stuff for granted, um, exactly how this stuff goes on, uh, because there are parts that look the same but are not quite the same. So. Um, if you have two parts that look the same, make sure that you try to look at them to spot the differences. So these will go in bag six. Um, also loose on here is a big bushing. So let's measure that bushing. Um, and this is another thing. If, you, if it looks like there are um, multiple parts that are the same but have different measurements, measure them first. So um, the length of this is 0 0.470, and the outer diameter is 0.435, and that goes on the right side of the axle. Uh, so the next thing that comes off is this thing. Okay, so I'm going to set this down right here. The next thing that comes off is a smaller bushing. 0.207, outer diameter 0.435. So I'm going to put that over here. Okay, 
The next thing that comes off is this lever thing. So that sits right over there. And what I would do is um, I would sort of um, put this in some sort of consistent order and then just take a picture of the entire thing so that I know um, how the entire thing is put together. There's a tiny spring that goes on the axle. Then there is another one of these. So let's compare it to see if they are the same. And they do look the same. I don't see any pins or anything. So that goes there. Um, and then we get another bushing. So this one is 0 0.207 by 0 0.434. What was this? This is also 0 0.207. So that's the same size of bushing. And then we get another one of these types. Are they the same? Yep, they look the same. So that would go there. Okay, and then we have another spring. And then it looks like this sort of repeats. So let's take the parts off one by one and put them down. Here, let me put this over here and move these up. Okay, got a spring. Another one of these, bushing, lever, spring, another bushing. Funny, this one has a different color. Another lever. Another spring. Carry registering lever. Bushing, lever, spring. Now you might wonder why I'm taking this entire thing apart when I can just leave the whole thing together. I mean, aside from the fact that it won't stay together. Um, but I'm removing all these parts because we want to clean them. And normally, if this were a normal machine, this thing would be caked with uh, grease and dust and twigs and leaves and stuff. So, all right, so we've, so we've actually reached the end of the axle. Um, that's it. So, uh, let's see, let me lower the camera a bit. There we go. Okay, so now we can see all of these parts laid out. So there's um, eight, basically eight sets. Um, one, two, three, uh, four parts each. Uh, let's just order these a little better so that we can see that the sets are the same. Okay, so, and actually there's a spring missing on the end um, because apparently uh, maybe it doesn't need a spring. Okay, and then on the very end of the axle, um, there is 
In fact, I didn't have to loosen this because apparently it's just a nut and a washer and that's it, there's nothing else. Um, I'm not sure if this part comes off, it doesn't look like it, so I'm just going to leave these on. Um, but it's important to note the orientation again. So this was on the right side of the machine and this was on the left side of the machine. So, uh, so there we go. So that's all going to go into bag six. So we've got eight of these. Eight of these. Eight of these bushings. All the same size. Eight of these levers. And only seven springs. All in bag six. So I close out bag six. I put the axle aside. Um, we've also got this, which um, nothing appears to be loose. So I'm going to just take this uh, intermediate gear um, section and set it aside as an assembly. Um, and then we're going to take a look at the machine again okay, to see what else we can uh, take off. Um, okay, so the next thing that I think we're going to take off is this ripple carry. Um, the carry gear. So it looks like this comes off basically in the same way. Um, we've got what appear to be two screws holding a half bushing and another two screws holding a half bushing here. Now I just want to take a uh, Wanu. I want to um, take a quick look to make sure that there's nothing attached here. So there's a bunch of things attached here. Um, namely there's this thing and I want to know um, okay, so there's a screw right over here that appears to be um, that appears to be a guide for this to go up and down. Um, yeah, see, it goes around and up and over, so kind of a cam follower. So, uh, and if I look underneath, I'm not seeing that it's actually a, like a fork. Um, so I can't just, you know, pull it out. I do have to remove this screw. This, uh, I do have to remove this part. Okay. Um, in terms of uh, this side, there are two screws holding the half bushing and it just looks like this gear right over here um, is not actually connected to anything else. Now, with gears, um, you can hopefully see that there is an arrow over here and there is an arrow over here. Now there is no corresponding arrow on this side. Actually, if I turn this, aha, there we go. Now we have two arrows facing each other and here we have an arrow and you can't really see it but there actually is an arrow over here. These are called timing marks and timing marks tell you the orientation of the gears, right? Because some of the gears have cams on them. So as the gears turn, the orientation of the cams relative to each gear is important. So when you put the machine back together, you need to make sure that the arrows face each other. Um, and of course, the arrows are not symmetric, so that if you turn this gear 180 degrees, this arrow will be over here and it won't actually point to the other arrow. So those are just called timing marks or timing arrows. So uh, what were we going to do? We were going to first 
remove this screw right here. There's a nut on the other side. So I'm going to see if I can, uh, yeah. I can loosen the nut. Okay. So I can continue to loosen the nut. It's kind of a tight nut. It's not really, it's not, yeah, there we go. Now it's loose. So I can remove it. Um, it's actually hitting, yeah, it's actually hitting this, uh, this cam over here. So I can't actually loosen it anymore, which is fine because I should be able to unscrew the screw now that it is loosened. Hmm. No? Uh, can I, hmm. Yeah, I need to be able to loosen this screw. Ah, there we go, now it's turning. So, okay, so the nut came off. I'm gonna set it aside. And now, I'm going to unscrew. Here, let me show you what's going on here. So, end on. Um, so the screw is over here. There is some sort of a spacer right over here, and then the frame, and then the screw. And the part goes between the screw head and the spacer. So, um, I can't move the part back and forth, so the only thing that I can do is push the screw out. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. I'm going to just attempt to push the screw out like that. Okay. So pull it out carefully. There's the screw. And then again, the orientation, recording the, the sequence of parts is important. So we have screw, part, we have a spacer, which I'm going to carefully remove. Uh, okay, that's interesting. So the spacer, um, hmm. okay, I can move the part down and then I can tease the spacer out. There we go. So the spacer, again, the orientation is important. The spacer has a shoulder, and that shoulder fits in uh, this groove in the, uh, in the part. Hopefully you can see that groove down there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the screw. Uh, let me measure it also. It is a, it is an 836. And I'm going to put the nut back on and I'm going to start a new bag. So this is bag seven of seven, seven, three, three, nine. Okay. Goes in the bag. Um, okay, so now this lever is loose. And now I should simply be able to remove the, uh, the bushing screws. So let's go ahead and remove one.
836, length, Point three one eight another screw. Also, 836. And 314. We're just coming up on about 30 minutes. So I should be able to remove this um, bushing. Okay, so here's the bushing. Notice that there's a hole in it. Fits right over there. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and remove the other side. So once I'm able to remove this, that should be the end of this part. Okay. Also, 836. Point three one five and last bushing screw, which is also eight thirty six and point three one seven. Okay. Now, there's the bushing, the half bushing. Here's the other half bushing. Notice that they're different. They also have slightly different radii, um, slightly different lengths, so that's important to note. So this came off the left side of the machine, and this came off the right side of the machine, if the machine were facing you or me. And now we should simply be able to, as before, gently pry Gently pry it out. So let's see. Without damaging anything, I'm just going to try to reach in here and um, This is a very tight fit. For whatever reason, all of these things that were held in by half bushings were tight fits. Let's uh, try to remove this side first. Ah, there we go. Okay, so this side comes out. Maybe I can just sort of persuade the other side now. Now that there's a little bit, a very tiny bit of play, let's try to lever it this way. No? Don't want to come out? Surely you must want to come out at some point. There we go. All right. So, there it is. Uh, no parts are loose. Well, actually, this part is coming off. This is the, um, well, it's a bushing. Um, and it goes onto the axle. And there's very little play in terms of radius. Um, so, because it's loose, I'm actually going to put it in bag seven. Uh, nothing else seems to be coming off. That's good. So that's bag seven. Um, was there an orientation on it? No. Doesn't look like it. Um, so, all right. So that's, uh, 
That's the ripple carry mechanism. So these are what they call dogs. Um, there's one side for addition and one side for subtraction. Um, not sure which side is which, but that doesn't really matter. Um, yes. And we've got um, a bunch of gears. Here's a, a sort of a half gear, I guess. Um, this, is, this is the cam, which has some sort of eccentricity to it. Um, there's a bunch of other things here. I'm not quite sure what they're all for, but hopefully when putting it back together again, um, we can see exactly what they're for. So I'll set that aside. Um, I'll close off bag seven. And this is all that's left of the frame, basically. So we have some gears, a bunch of levers, and the frame itself, which is made apparently out of cast iron. So uh, that's all for this section. I'll uh, see you on the next episode. Bye.